Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we have some breaking news. Something that I covered just not too long ago in one of my videos. I believe it was just maybe a week or so ago too, folks. And this one actually took me by surprise because I didn't think it was really going to happen this soon, this fast. I didn't know what they were going to do, but I knew it was coming. And sure enough, it has. Okay, now you also have to remember that I told you in that video that they're going to try to implement something somewhere down the line where you're going to have to have proof if you want to do any type of traveling, leave your state, do anything, go to another state, go to another country, so on and so forth. I knew this was coming. I could see the writing on the wall. And sure enough, well, it's here. It's called the Common Trust Network, and it was just released today, December 28th, 2020. Let's just send the year out with a bang, people. So this is what's going on. Now, there's all these different types of rules and regulations, no matter where you go in this world. Every country has different rules and regulations. Look at the poor 18-year-old from Georgia that has been, was sentenced to four months in jail in the Cayman Islands for violating basically quarantine policies. It's just what it is. Every country has something different. They have different rules. They have different regulations. But people just aren't aware of certain things. And in some countries, they're really strict on this stuff. Now, what we're talking about today is called the Common Trust Network. This was put out by the World economic form and i'll put a link to the whole article in the description below for your enjoyment and reading now as i said about a week or so ago i was talking about how they are going to be coming up with something so that they can track you somehow some way and this is a digital track so basically what they're looking to do is, is they want to take, make sure that you have the vaccination that is recorded by a basically legitimate agency. It is proven to be legitimate and true. And what they're going to do is you're going to have this little app on your phone. And this app basically is going to let you do the things that you want to do. Basically, it's almost like when we were kids, if you're old enough, everybody had this little book. Some of them were green, some were black. But all your vaccination records were basically logged by a doctor into that little book. I still have mine. It's in my safe deposit box. But they want to get away from any type of paper. Because they're not trusting people to where they can have it forged. So this way here, this digital information that they're going to try to do, I shouldn't say try, they are people. This is going to happen. This is going to take place. And what they want to do is they want to empower individuals with their own digital access to their health information. I like the word empower. They want to make it easier for people to understand and comply with each destination requirements. So if you're going to do any traveling or anything, you're going to know what not to do if you don't want to end up in jail. And they also want to make sure that they help ensure that only verifiable lab results and vaccination records from trusted sources are presented for the purpose of cross-border travel. It's here, folks. It is definitely here. This Common Trust Network is something that has been designed by a non-profit organization that is being backed by the World Economic Forum and all the governments of the world. Now, did that just scare you? Basically, health organizations, including labs, vaccination sites, they all agree to provide individuals with digital access to their own health information using open global standards. Verified credentials, basically, folks, if you want to break it down. 
The data sources agreed to provide individuals with access to their information via one of the more of your Apple devices, your ISOs, your Common Health and Android, other digital wallet apps, paper printed with the QR codes containing the W3C verifiable credentials. So, you know, like that little barcode, little thing that you see on, you know, some of your packages you get, they're on just about anything you can buy. You know, you scan them with your phone and it tells you everything. Well, that's what that would be. They can scan that little thing from your phone and boom, there they go. They have the verifiable credentials that they will need. The rules to this for basically the countries, jurisdictions, and other destinations, such as, now, here you go. Like I said, anything that you want to do, you're going to have to have this, folks, because it's right here in black and white. Airlines, ships, public transportation, any hotels, venues of any kind, events, offices, and yes, your school children will have to have one so that they can go to school. They also agree to publish and maintain their health entry requirements using a standard machine readable format in the Common Trust Registry. The Common Trust Registry is operated on a not for profit basis as an open shared service for the common good. I'm glad they have us under the common good of man. So I brought this to you. I talked about this not too long ago. I told you something like this was coming. It's a little bit scary, folks. What else are they going to have planned for us? At least they threw it to us in this 2020 year. So it won't be something that's tacked on in 2021. Because they're looking to implement this, starting with the airlines, within the next two weeks. As folks go out there and get in line and sign up and register to get the good old vaccination, whether it be the Pfizer, the Mardura, or whichever one it may be. So at this point, we have really no choice. This is what's going to take place. This is how the ball rolls. We're just along for the ride. Not much we can do about it. Yes, you can buck the system if you wish, but I believe in the long run, it will come down to where you may even have to show proof to enter the grocery store. Pretty sad what the new normal is, huh, folks? So, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Wanted to bring you a little breaking news on the world form here on Common Trust Network. Like I said, I'll put in the description below the article that was released by the World Economic Forum today on the Common Trust Network with the Common Trust Pass. You will all find it quite interesting and you all can see how your lives are about to change. One would think that this was going to happen. They have to have control. It's part of their herd humidity and how they want to control the herd. So, folks, till next time, this has been breaking news from Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.